everyone! In recent times I have been working really hard on my design portfolio and today I thought I would share with you what I've been doing. All of this seems like terribly shameless self-promotion but some people have been asking me about my design work so I thought it couldn't hurt to show you guys some of the stuff that I've been working on. Since moving to London I've been sending off job applications and while I've been doing that I've also been continuously working on my design portfolio. As you'll probably know if you've been watching my videos for a while I am really interested in book design, that's what I want to do as a career, so that's what much of my portfolio is. I just keep it in this pretty straightforward black folder and I've got my little branding logo thing there. So I have a title page which has got the Kiwi Bell Jar and some books. Each page is laid out with my name and logo. So this is a design that I've shown on my channel in the past and it is for one of my favourite books, Brideshead Revisited by Evelyn Waugh. I actually have the mock-up of the book itself here. This is a book about privilege. The narrator of this novel essentially falls in love with this family and they live in the Brideshead Mansion. I wanted to convey a sense of this on the cover, so I did a bit of research on sort of styles at the time um, for the wallpaper and also the colour scheme. We've got two of the main characters here, Sebastian and Julia, and then Sebastian's famous teddy bear in the other frame. Because this is a classic novel I also wanted to keep the colours gender neutral so that's why we've got this quite muted colour scheme. Next up is my design for Goodbye to Berlin by Christopher Isherwood. This is one of the most famous quotes from this novel. I am a camera with its shutter open, quite passive, recording not thinking. That was the inspiration for this cover and we've got a teacup which looks a bit like a camera lens and we've got the symbol of Berlin, the Brandenburg Gate, which is reflected in the teacup. This book is about Isherwood's time in Berlin before the Second World War. So we've got tea which is this very British beverage and then we've got this reflection of the image of the Brandenburg Gate in the tea. The idea being that we're seeing this world through the eyes of Isherwood. I actually did the photography for this myself so if you'd like to know more about how I did that, I've written a blog post and I'll link that in the down bar. Next is one that I've mentioned in the past that is my cover for Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. I've done a whole video talking about the cover designs of Lolita and I talk a bit about my own design at the end of that. The short idea of this is that you have the front cover and the inside cover and you have to actually open the front cover in order to see the title of the book. The idea being that you are implicated in the same way that Humbert is. Next up we have my design for To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. For this design I wanted a really minimalist aesthetic. I was particularly in inspired by the section in the middle of this novel which is called Time Passes in which some of the most important pieces of information are given in these square brackets at the end of a paragraph. So that's why I've used the square brackets in this design and I also wanted to convey a sense of a journey and of time passing. And we've got this long line going around until the lighthouse, the Tutha, which is the idea of going to the lighthouse and then actually getting to the lighthouse at the end of the novel. I posted some of these sketches on Instagram a few weeks ago. We've got shells and feathers and also this whale pattern. And those sketches turned into these. So these are a series of New Zealand modern classics and here I wanted to take one design idea and extend it across multiple books. So we've got the same typography and style across all three and I think they go quite nicely together. The next project really was a labour of love. Catherine Mansfield is one of my favourite authors and there are very few beautiful editions of her works. So I wanted to make a design that reflected her New Zealand roots and there's actually a collection of her New Zealand stories that had been published in the past. However I wasn't too impressed by the cover design so I decided to make my own dust jacket. So these are the sketches that I started off with. So they're all done with ink and then I put those into Adobe Illustrator and this is how it turned out. So I coloured it in these quite bright colours against that black background. My idea was also that the twoies here and here and here would be done in a UV spot coating so they would shine and show up in different lights. Unfortunately I didn't have the printing budget to do that but this is what the rest of it looks like. 
around the back. So aside from the rose, which is to represent her British side, all of these are New Zealand plants. So we've got the yellow kofi and these little white and pink flowers are called manuka. We've also got New Zealand flax flowers as well as some rata. All of this was pretty time consuming, but I'm really pleased with the finished result and you can see why I get through so many audiobooks. So those are the finished book designs that I have. I've also done some other illustration work, such as these patterned designs, and I've had these printed up into little cards. This is another painting that I've done, which is just in watercolour and ink. And another recent one is this, which I have actually turned into a magazine cover, and I will put that here, because I'm really pleased with how the finished results turned out. If you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen some of these in the past, and Instagram is where I put lots of sketches and also final designs. So if you're interested in following me there, then I'll put the link in the description. There will also be links to my portfolio website, my Behance profile, and my Pinterest page. So if you're interested in the kind of stuff that I'm designing, then take a look at those links. All of the book covers that I've shown you today are things that I've done in my own time to build up my portfolio. So I hope that you found this at least a little bit interesting. If you liked any of these designs then let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!